Hey guys, today we're driving a 2021 Audi S4. This has 349 horsepower, quattro all-wheel drive, about 3,800 pounds, and a starting price of just under 50 grand. As tested, this S4 is around $63,000. We've got a carbon fiber package, the rear limited slip differential, the sport diff, which will add in some uh, enjoyable handling characteristics. And uh, I think this is a pretty nice car. It's, you know, just a luxurious, fast Audi. Same formula they've been following for years. And uh, we're also on the Acura TLX drive today, the new 2021 Type S. And this is probably one of the better competitors to the Type S. Very curious to see how this handles. Not quite as much horsepower, but a little bit lighter weight. Um, slightly different engine transmission drivetrain configuration. The whole drive unit is one piece in the front axle and uh, it can overdrive the rear axle a little bit, but not as much as the TLX. So maybe the rotation and the handling characteristics will be slightly different. Excited to see what it's like on the road. It's been a while since we've driven an Audi S4, so I think it'll be good to get it back in one, especially after spending some time in the standard A4 at the last Acura TLX drive that we had. It's a pretty nice overall car. It still looks good. It's gotten a little bit bigger over the years. We've got a nice rear seat. Good amount of space back here. All right, let's take this thing on the road and see what it's like. We've got some beautiful California back roads here. We're in, well, actually, we're at Laguna Seca, and we did some track testing of the TLX Type S, and uh, here, just outside of Monterey, we've got some pretty good driving roads. So. Let's go have a bit of fun. Let's put it into sport mode, or dynamic mode in Audi speak. Oh yes, three liter V6, same as the TLX. Love those little pops between shifts. This V6 does sound good. Eight speed transmission. Makes all the right noises. too. It keeps you in the power band. Not as crisp as the DCTs used to be from Audi. Around the corners you can definitely feel the weight over the front end. That engine is sitting right in front of that front axle. Quattro all-wheel drive gets you around the corner, but there's definitely a lot more understeer than in the TLX. You don't get that sweet, sweet rotation on throttle. You just have to drive this a little bit differently. The TLX is almost, it almost feels and acts like a rear-wheel drive car. set of summer performance tires. This uh, S4 is nice, but it feels a little bit sloppy after getting out of the TLX and spending all day in that thing. The steering isn't as good. There's virtually no feel here. Turn-in is not nearly as sharp. Power level is good. Let's put us back into drive here. We'll settle things down. Put it into auto mode. I do really like the materials 
in this Audi S4. The carbon fiber in the center console, the feeling from this kind of this indented pattern on the steering wheel and shifter feel awesome. Adds a little bit of cooling for your hands when you're at the ragged edge. Ride quality is nice, very comfortable. Let's put us back into dynamic mode here, have a bit more fun. Oh yeah, there we go. The transmission's waking up a bit. Sounds nice and it pulls. I have good control over my gears. Sometimes it doesn't want to go into second there. Come on, there we go. It will auto upshift at redline. Kind of strange to talk about pedal spacing in an automatic but i do really like the pedal spacing of this s4 it's really easy to get go from the accelerator to the brake pedal dynamically though i am not impressed with the handling i mean it's definitely capable it's definitely fast but this doesn't have nearly the chassis control and balance and rotation of this helix it's all down to that weight distribution and all-wheel drive system. Hard to tell what the sport differential is doing at higher speeds. I assume at low speeds it'll give you a pretty good amount of rotation. Let's test the brakes, see how those feel are nice. Launch control. Oh yeah. Nice kick between shifts. Zero to 60 happens in no time. So how can we sum up the S4? I mean this is a tried and true formula. Audi's been doing this for a long time. I preferred some of the older S4s over this latest version. I think this has gone a little bit too soft. Older S4s are more fun to drive. Even with the dual clutch and the manual transmissions, I would prefer one of the older ones. And it kind of reaffirms my suspicion that in this space, not only does the TLX have less competitive and less dynamically enjoyable competition, but also it's just better in some ways than a lot of the tried and true vehicles. I mean, the BMW M340i is sometimes kissing $70,000, which is ridiculous. Uh, if you buy a M340i, just lease it, don't buy it. This S4 is more expensive, um, doesn't drive as nicely as for you know, an enthusiast who enjoys really good chassis dynamics and control. Power level feels about the same. The TLX is heavier than this S4, but it hides it really well, and uh, you don't notice that the TLX actually just it drives and handles and dynamically is almost on a different level from this S4. This really does feel kind of f not front-wheel drive biased, but it's, it's traditional Audi. Not much has changed with Quattro over the years, and that engine, you can't get around it being in front of the front axle. There's not a whole lot you can do with that weight distribution. And uh, get a, getting a car to rotate. So, mixed feelings on this S4. Uh, it's a comfortable, nice, enjoyable package. It's a good daily driver. I don't know, you can't go wrong with the Germans, but I think you might be able to do a little bit better in some ways with this new TLX Type S. And uh, I'm glad to see that Acura has, has kind of come out with this car and brought back a Type S in their lineup because it's been a few years, it's been a while. All right, guys, well, those are my thoughts on the Audi S4 compared to the Type S. Um, 
it's interesting driving all these cars back to back getting really quick impressions on everything as they come through uh, spent about eh, about an hour in the type s around the track today and uh, a good amount of miles on the street and so it's interesting to kind of see what everything uh, feels like behind the wheel all right well that'll be it for this one thanks for watching guys if you haven't already check out some of my other videos on the type s uh, we don't get a lot of Audis in, so it's a nice pleasure to get behind the wheel of this one and get some time and behind the new S4. I will say, liked some of the older S4s a lot better. This is, uh, this is okay, but it's not as exciting or enjoyable or light feeling as some of the older cars. Really enjoyed that previous generation manual Audi S4. Um, that was a good car.